Stem cells are one of the greatest medical discoveries in human history. A stem cell has the ability to change into any type of cell within your body. I mean, imagine being able to replace damaged dying cells with fresh, new, healthy stem cells. Stem cells are being used by scientists to try and treat every type of injury and disease. The first question I asked Dr. Hans Kirstead, where do we get all these stem cells from? As a scientist, we've got access to stem cells from, generally speaking, three sources. One of yesteryear, not practiced here in the United States anymore, is to obtain them from aborted fetuses. Um, the more current one is to obtain them from the discard of fertility clinics, and even more current from adults, skin of adults that has been reprogrammed to become a stem cell again, capable of making every cell instead of just skin and also extracting them from few tissues in the body that still harbor them as an adult. Where is the hope and potential with stem cells and diabetes? Diabetes has been a tricky, tricky disease. We know all about it. We know what's wrong in type 1 and type 2 diabetes, but addressing it has been just tremendously tough. You've got to make an insulin producing cell type. And that has been the greatest challenge in stem cell research producing a cell type from a cell that can become anything, producing a cell type in purity and in massive numbers so they can actually affect change if they're transplanted into a human. So one of the greatest advances in the stem cell field has been the ability of scientists to take this cell that can become anything and push it into a beta cell, a pancreatic cell that's responsible for producing insulin. Where is your field at at this current moment with giving patients some hope that they won't have to suffer from diabetes anymore, whether it's a year out, five years out, 10 years out. You know, one of the greatest advances in stem cell research is the production of the cell type that produces insulin. It produces it in high amounts and in great purity. So those cells have now been put in little raviolis, little permeable membranes that keep them in one place so they don't spread through the body, so that they don't get rejected. They've been implanted into humans and insulin's been secreted. So we are now, as a field, in the clinic. And that's a very recent discovery. When can we all look back on this and say, no more insulin, no more pills for high blood sugar, stem cells are the way of the future? For the first time, we can actually see that now. We don't know what, exactly what the timeline is, but several major milestones have just been hit. The greatest being, how do we take stem cells and make them into an insulin-producing cell? Done. The next, how can we get them to secrete enough insulin like you do in your pancreas? Done. And then, how do we produce them in numbers that can be commercially viable and clinically viable so you can afford to get them? That's also done. They're now being used in humans. So we've got clinical trials ongoing right now that could be curative. You've been working in this field for decades now. Do you ever just say to yourself, wow, I am amazed at what's happening here? It never ceases to amaze me, this field. I look back on you know decades past when polio and uh, chicken pox were killing people, and they don't now. I, I look at people running around the street, walking through my laboratories, and I think, how many of them wouldn't be here because they didn't have the heart drugs that they took that prevented something, a stroke drug that they took, aspirin that thinned their blood and stopped a stroke. I think we're going to look back on this time as one of those absolutely critical, critical junctures in diabetes. We're on the brink of a lot of just extraordinary things. You believe there will one day be no more diabetes? I do believe one day there will not be diabetes. That's untreatable. I think we've got the tools in our hands now. We're still learning how to apply them perfectly, but even the imperfect applications that we're doing now are showing huge hope, hope that we just, we didn't have a year ago.